This is the ultimate camera comparison video of Samsung Galaxy S22 versus Samsung Galaxy S24. Is it time to upgrade? Watch this video before you. Let's start with their comparison test and both phones are really good. I mean, I feel like if you're not doing a side-by-side -side test, let's say you're doing a blind test, you would hardly know the difference or you might miss on identifying which is which. Today is a sunny day for Canada and you'll be able to see the sky, so we're shooting a lot of outdoor shots. We're also shooting indoors like crowds, colorful things, and landscape. Also on this comparison test, we will utilize all three sensors from the ultra-wide, wide, and three times optical zoom up to the digital crop, so we will be able to determine which phone is better on all three sensors. Let's begin our comparison test with color profile and saturation, and the older Galaxy S22 has lighter sky. It is not cranked up like the ones you would see on S24. In general, it also exposes the shadows better. In fact, the overall appearance of the images on S22 is brighter than Galaxy S24. So if you like those types of look, then stick with the older S22. I also noticed that it also aggressively smoothens the surface of the subject, so you would see less details, but sometimes it works. Obviously, if you're shooting portrait mode, and on some shots, not all, I noticed that Galaxy S22 has a creamier background blur. Galaxy S24 is aggressively switching to macro mode sometimes. While the new Samsung flagship will manage the highlights better, on this comparison test, you would see that I'm shooting a lot of arcades, and you would read all the signs on Galaxy S24. Sometimes it blends the colors and the tones of the light, which I don't like, but that's how S24 handles them. Also, the colors are a little bit saturated than S22. Surprisingly, the color of S24 is toned down compared to S23, so it's like Samsung switching back and forth between natural colors and vivid colors every series. Looking quickly on the specification, they might have the same components and sensors. Both has 50 megapixel main sensor with the same sensor size, 10 megapixel telephoto with the same sensor size, and 12 megapixel ultra wide. And as you know it, same sensor size. All three sensors has dual face detection, autofocus, and OIS, and super steady video. The only difference on the rear camera is S24 can shoot up to 8K 30fps versus 24fps on S22. There's also a bump in megapixel for the selfie camera, 12 megapixel versus 10 megapixel. Going back to the comparison test again, if you do a blind test on these two phones, I bet you'll miss some of your answers because they almost look the same. I'm just nitpicking on everything I noticed because this is a comparison test. And looking at all three sensors from the ultra wide, main sensor, and telephoto, colors are consistent. I just noticed that Galaxy S24 is a brighter 3 times optical zoom consistently. This is the video test of Samsung Galaxy S22 in 8K 24fps. Sadly, there's still 24fps on this phone. It's a really good smartphone in 2022, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The only problem is the battery life. It is shorter than Samsung Galaxy S23 and S24. Let's talk about portrait mode and in terms of quality, I think you would love any of these two phones. They almost have the same look if you're not pixel peeping on looking at the images on a bigger screen or maybe just shooting randomly on people. They have that distinct Samsung look. Starting with the similarities, I like the edge detection of both phones. I think they're pretty spot on in all of my portrait shots. I didn't see anything that these two phones missed, so that's a great thing. Maybe there are some missed shots on the hair, but I feel like any other phone will have that mistake. The older Galaxy S22 is brighter, obviously brighter than S24, like every other photo that I've taken. The complexion is just whiter than S24. Sometimes on low light environment like indoors, you would see a little bit of noise on my face if you blow it up. There's a lot of details but not as good as what you can see on Galaxy S24. You were also limited to 1x and 3x. I feel like the 2x which is missing on S22 is actually the best range for portrait shots on any smartphones. While the new Samsung Galaxy S24 spot on even the color of the skin, I'm Asian so you would see that my skin tone is brown. Also looking at my wife's skin tone, it matches on the new Samsung Galaxy S24. And if you blow up the images, you would see every single details on the skin. Unlike the Galaxy S22 that sometimes have noise and artifacts, which is a little bit weird because I know this is just on a software level. And obviously it has 1x, 2x, and 3x, so you'll cover 24mm, 50mm, and 85mm range. Checking the selfie, again, they have the same behavior as the rear, more like software level kind of upgrade. You would see a lot of details on Samsung Galaxy S24, maybe because of the extra 2 megapixel or just how Samsung S24 processed these photos. 
Going for the night shot again, it's almost the same for both phones. Same amount of flaring, a little bit stronger on Galaxy S22 but all good. I noticed that S22 is actually counting a bit longer than S24 on night shot, but in terms of output, they look like the same. And because of this, you would get more blurry moving object on S22 compared to Galaxy S24. Also, the new Samsung Galaxy S24 will expose the darker areas better. If you look on the shadows or just the darker part of the images, you would see more information on S24. If you use all three sensors from the ultra-wide wide and three times optical zoom, the main sensor is almost a tie, but the ultra-wide and telephoto is better on Galaxy S24. This is the video test of Samsung Galaxy S24 in 8K 30 FPS. It's a really good phone for vlogging. It's future proof. It has Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And the upgrade on this camera is the slow motion 4K at 120 FPS. Stick to this video because we will test this on the video test. Let's talk about flaring. As you can see on the lenses of both phones, they are clean before we do the comparison test. And you'll notice a little bit of strong flaring on Galaxy S22 on the ultra wide. Almost the same, a bit better on S24 on the main sensor, and similar on 3x optical zoom. Going for the night shots, you will see there's a strong flaring on Galaxy S22. In terms of highlights, if you point both phones on a strong light source, you will have similar performance and output for the highlights. Both phones have close focus capability, though they are not macro capability, but you can use a 3x optical zoom. They can go really close on the subject with impeccable out of focus. Checking the sharpness, it's almost the same on the ultra wide. I should say a little bit better on the older S22 on the main sensor. And again, same output on 3x optical zoom. And both phones can go as far as 30 times digital crop. And last image test is details, 50 megapixel battle. They are both really good in detail. The only difference is the contrast. A little bit contrasty and colorful on the older S22 and brighter on S24. So that's it for the image test. A little bit of difference in colors and portrait mode. I think the biggest difference is the night shot on 1x and 3x. There's also a difference in 8K video recording, 24 versus 30 FPS. Alright, I think that's it for the image test. Now let's do the video test from the zoom, stabilization, and low light. Let's start the video test with the zoom test, and both of them has the same reach, but you would see that Galaxy S24 controls the noise better. This is the video stabilization test starting with the ultra wide lens in 4K 30 FPS, and honestly, it feels the same, just a bit brighter on Galaxy S24. And this is the main sensor, same values, 4K 30 FPS, and again, it's almost the same look for both phones. If you don't know which is which, I doubt you will know the difference on a blind test. And this is the 3x optical zoom, again, like the main sensor, it has the same stabilization and quality. This is the dual recording versus director's view on Samsung Galaxy S22 and S24. Again, perfect for vlogging because you can see the front and the back, the rear camera. I think the quality on both phones are the same. But let me know if you see any difference. This is the biggest upgrade on Galaxy S24, the slow motion 4K 120 FPS video. You will see more details on the new Samsung Galaxy S24. And lastly, low light video. I think it's pretty good on less than ideal light. It's a little bit brighter on S24 and the white balance is also pretty spot on. But if you go to low light condition, there will be more information on the newer Galaxy S24. I think overall, Samsung Galaxy S22 is a really solid flagship phone in 2024. I mean, if everything you've seen from the S22's performance will still serve you a purpose this year, then you don't need to upgrade. But if you like a more versatile portrait mode, 8K 30fps video, and 4K 120fps slow motion, then Galaxy S24 is a solid upgrade. And there you go, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel, maybe the new Samsung Galaxy A55, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.